Now, I bring you this ad right here on the eve of Pride Month and what in God's name is being advertised here? Okay, you see a drag queen, okay, you see a dude with mental illness with a mustache trying to promote something, pretending to be a woman, but in actuality, come on, let's keep it a buck, okay? You're never, ever, ever going to achieve your end state, but I don't know, man, you're just gonna go out there, you're gonna cash a paycheck, you're gonna ruin a brand, but which brand could possibly be bringing this on? Could it be a Target competitor? Could it be makeup company? Could it be a clothing brand? You'd be close with a clothing brand. What what kind of clothing brand though? Like high fashion? That would sort of kind of make sense. You've seen those designs over the years and it's like, yeah, no, if drag queens are going to promote anything, yeah, just go for that. Could it be a swimwear brand? No, Target's kind of got that all figured out. Or <laughs> at least they did until they got rid of it, thankfully. But no, no, no. No, it's, it's a more niche specific type of product. North Face. North Face, you know, the camping products the the really warm coats with a drag queen what uh, hmm inter okay so as somebody who lives in northern alberta where camping is uh, right underneath opioids and excessive drinking camping is probably the third most popular recreational activity high school dropouts fat chicks that can't climb into trucks that have lift kits they all love to go camping me personally can't stand doing pseudo homelessness activities it's just not my fucking thing it's never been my thing i've been out camping a few times to just go sit around the fire and that's mostly why i don't like camping because it's brutally fucking boring i got better things to do with my life but i can tell you 100 percent that is not something that I've ever seen camping and I've been out there with a bunch of drunk people doing a whole bunch of fucking weird stuff but I have never in my life seen that and that is your average North Face person North Face consumer Helly Hansen Carwright it's like what's his nuts there you know fucking Frankenstein in the Senate John Fetterman he wears that Carhartt sweatshirt all the time because well, that's the only thing he can put on that's what makes me feel safe mostly because his ear or rather his brain would leak out of his ear and then just ruin a suit so if it's just a throwaway you know sweatshirt that would be fine but that's the equivalent and to a lesser extent north face but north face does make some quality stuff at least they did now nobody's gonna know if they do or not but carhartt is to work gear what lululemon is to exercise gear it's just trying to buy your way into a subsection and eh. I digress. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I've been thinking about that for a long time. But what does North Face have here? Well, <laughs> I know there are certain things that you can't show on YouTube, and I don't think that there's anything in here would run against you know, the community guidelines. But in a greater scheme, uh, this is North Face committing the giant self oof in a one minute ad. So I haven't seen it in totality yet. All I've seen is the first couple of lines. But oh, buddy, let's take a look. Hi, it's me, Patagonia, a real-life homosexual, and since- Fa Ugh. Patagonia. I thought that was a different kind of jacket. Um, did- ugh, Leg warm. Really? Mm. And- ugh. Hi, I'm a real-life homosexual. Yeah, you didn't really need to announce that. It was kind of inferred. Today, I'm here with the North Face. We are here to invite you to come out in nature with us! What? Oh my god, this is- yeah, this is something, all right, okay, and yeah. Shouldn't you be selling tents and lube? Like, that would make more sense. Oh, this is nice. We like to call this little tour Ugh. the Summer of Pride. This no. tour has everything. I wish you'd take a tour in the middle of a highway. Hiking, community, art, lesbians, lesbians making art. Les I couldn't think of anything less attractive than lesbians camping because it's never going to be those lipstick lesbians that you think of as the girls that just rub their crotches together and make noises. No, it's the chicken flannel. It's the chicks who drive the old 1987 F-100s, okay? The real domestic abusers. If you take a look at the statistics, those are the ones that go camping, okay? Chicks that unironically watch the old Roseanne. This year, we gay saw shade across the nation oh, and celebrated God. pride across the nation with hundreds of you across the nation. This year, we're back, back, back again with two new oh, stops. Atlanta, GA. Why? Because you're there. In Atlanta. Well, okay, that kind of makes sense because there is a, at least self-reported, a lot of DL behavior 
in Atlanta, but um, on the uh, demographic breakdowns of Atlanta, they aren't exactly the most likely population to go camping. I'm just saying. And Salt Lake City, we're coming for you. <laughs> of course. This year, all these fabulous speakers will be coming from inside this TV to a nature near you. So come outside and celebrate the beautiful LGHG TV community. It's pretty gay. I agree. Um, so, a couple of things. A couple of things off of that. Obviously, it's supposed, it's supposed to be tongue-in-cheek, I think. This is the caption implies, because I, I didn't read the caption. I just pulled up the commercial, and it was kind of gayer than I expected. But, okay, North Face goes woke. They go somewhere, and again, it doesn't seem like an appropriate endorsement, but okay, not exactly as out of pocket as some of the other ones. The outdoor clothing brand has released an advertisement for the brand's new summer pride campaign, which includes rainbow covered clothing for children. Yeah, the ad features a drag queen encouraging everybody to come out. I was surprised there wasn't a come double entendre, but hey man, we'll figure this shit out as it goes. Uh, North Face slammed over ad featuring a drag queen urging viewers to come out in nature. Had to have done this on purpose, okay? Calls the boycott the North Face. Well, most of you brokies can't fucking afford that shit because, yeah, I, I know. And again, in a previous life, used to be a merchandising manager and then also a sales rep at a camping place that has since closed down. North Face shit is fucking boutique so you couldn't boycott it anyways it was kind of like the balenciaga shit oh my god my demons it's like yeah all that shit was a little bit wild but you fuckers couldn't afford most of it anyways uh, followed the outdoor brand's release of a transgender ad no he says that he's an open homosex so okay if you're pretending to be a woman that hmm, interesting okay if you're gonna be a homosex that would imp See, this is why all of these people don't make any fucking sense, because I've already got to think into overdrive in order to figure it out. Uh, featuring a drag queen encouraging customers to come out with the brand in an Instagram post Wednesday. Well, we watched it on Twitter, so go fuck yourself. The outdoor recreation products company, The North Face, presented its Summer of Pride campaign featuring drag queen and intersectional environmentalist Patagonia. Get it? It's like Patagonia. Got it. A self-described real-life homosexual. That was the only funny part. Well, and the and the end line. That was pretty gay. That's not bad. In the ad, the drag artist is seen calling on viewers to come out in nature with the brand. Come on, guys. There's a lot of branches on this tree. We can all have a seat together. Salt Lake City, we're coming for you. Oh, so that's what SLC sounds for. Okay, I guess I didn't get that. Uh, Ganya fucking mentally deranged dude calling on viewers to come outside and celebrate the beautiful lghd tv community in response users took to social media to express outrage over the company with many people calling for a complete boycott to the denver-based company please boycott marxist north face this is unacceptable wrote trad thought hustler uh, liz churchill which <laughs> wasn't anything a woman says i stopped buying north face when they stopped selling it in stores on military bases because they didn't want to be associated with u.s fighters a u.s soldiers sorry fighting and dying in two foreign wars now they're grooming kids i didn't know about that but that's interesting have to figure that out just a little bit more before i'd sign on board lara logan and again, you know, to see the previous excuse. North Face said, hold my beard to Bud Light and just released a woke transgender commercial targeting kids. You know what to do. Um, Matt Wallace, okay? Don't be an alarmist or anything like that. Was it really targeting kids? Because we could run that back. It was goofy. It was fucking stupid. Does not at all appear to er, appeal to the people that would be purchasing the North Face. But targeting kids? And that's a bit of a fucking stretch, okay? Let's be honest about these things. North Face goes woke, wrote internet personality Ollie London, who we pulled that tweet from, so we already read that as well. Can anyone explain how the heck this ad helps the North Face sell outdoor clothes? As director and producer Robbie Starbuck. Yeah, that's my question. It's like, the fuck is actually going on here? They're screaming at you not to buy their products if this violates your values, except their challenge. The North Face is owned by VF Corporation, which also owns Supreme, Vans, and Timberlands. Oh man, so nobody in New York is going to be boycotting this stuff because, you know, if you're in the BX, you got to wear your Tims. Brrr, boom!
The North Face has now gone full transgender with a drag queen commercial, wrote conservative... Oh, he's a, a fucking Malaysian grifter. Fuck him. Flashbangs dogs. Fuck him. Uh, Ian Miles Chong. Yuck. Yo, this is the dude who stole money from the quartering in order to buy an iPhone for an e-girl, so fuck him and everything that he does. Because nothing says rugged outdoorsman like a man in a wig and a rainbow-colored dress. Yeah, nothing says... I fight for America, like hiding behind a Twitter screen and lying about everything that you do. Fuck you. No one noticed when the North Face was doing this last year because the ad flew under the radar. But they've been at this for a while and they're only now just ramping things up. Yeah, which is exactly why I'm not getting too terribly bent out of shape. I just think all this shit is fucking hilarious at the end of the day. And if you're looking to uh, big companies as any sort of you know paragons of virtue, you fucking played yourself. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you at this point in time. I like what I like. I know that, you know, I'm a guy who has a whole hell of a lot of Under Armour shit. They do some fuck stuff every once in a while. They make good quality products. And so does Nike. <gasps> oh my god, I said the bad word, right? But at the end of the day, if you're going to be one of the real true conservatives, the likes of Ian Miles Chong, I, I'll leave Robbie Starbuck because he actually believes what he says. Uh... Ollie London, he's fine. Matt Wallace, a bit of an outrage baiter. Laura Logan and Liz Churchill. All of the rest of those trad cucks that are out there. Okay, wonderful. A fantastic stuff. You can be like gays against groomers, which is, and this is also their time of the year. See, look at how woke everything's got. Well, it was all because you guys just wanted to love who you want to love, right? And then all of the bad actors came in through the back door and you guys were all too willing to invite them in because reasons. Their tweet was, the North Face has just released an ad featuring a drag queen marketed towards children. No, no, it was marketed towards outdoors enthusiasts who are going to look at that and go yeah i don't think so i i wouldn't normally see anything like that out there outside for target practice it looks like they've decided that they would too like the bud light and target treatment you said the same thing for miller light but you guys just didn't carry that same energy ask and you shall receive again the north face is a small boutique brand theoretically if there was that same force and that same energy behind it you could quite frankly kill off that brand but you're not going to you're not going to but yeah trying to say that it's marketed towards children yeah i don't really get that that just seemed like like back in the time when comedy used to be funny like the all the way through the late 90s into the early 2000s prior to judd apatow and his you know post ironic humor shit which fucking i will go down to my dying breath by saying that the 40 year old virgin killed the comedy genre that dude right there wouldn't look out of place in an Austin Powers film. I'm just saying. Take it for what you will. You can go ahead and you can read the rest of these, you know, outrage baits that are there. I just believe, you know, pick your battles. Pick your battles at the end of the day. And most of these people that are tweeting and pretending to be outraged until the next thing comes along and outrages them, they weren't going outside anyways. They don't live in cold climates. Fucking Malaysia ain't that, you know, fucking frosty this time of the year. And the rest of these guys, they just live in offices and get rich off of interactions. So, I don't own a fucking North Face thing. That shit is way too expensive for the quality that you get. But just know that, you know, they, if you have the opportunity to choose something else, maybe you'll be inclined to now that you've seen that ad. Hilarious how all of the ads nowadays just kind of seem like they're doing the opposite of what they're intended to do. Fucking wild times that we live in. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.